Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem binary tree right side view. So given a binary tree, imagine yourself standing on the right side of it and return the values of the nodes you can see order from top to bottom. So this is our binary tree and you are standing over here and you are looking the tree from here. So what all the nodes we can see first on the top level, we can see the node with value one. On the second level, we will see the node with value 3 and the third level, we can see the node with value 4. So these two node 2 and node 5 will be hidden because of this node 3 and node 4. So finally, we have to return node 1 values 1, 3, 4 from top to bottom in the result. So how we will solve? So as you already know, if you have solved few of the tree problems, like tree problem can be solved by either using BFS or DFS or both. So this problem we will solve using both the traversal. So let's start discussing first, let's how we will use the BFS traversal. So for the BFS traversal, I have already video where I covered like multiple problems of level order traversal, like level order traversal and zigzag level order traversal and reverse level order traversal. So you can watch out those uh, videos as well if you haven't solved those problem. If you solve that problem, those problem, then this is very easy to solve. So how we will, we will apply the level order traversal level by level. So for this starting what we will do, we will use a queue data structure and if root is not null then we add the root node into the queue first. Then we iterate while until queue is not empty, while queue is not empty, queue is size greater than 0 while queue has the node, we will keep processing it. Then for every alternate level, for picking at every alternate level, level, what we will do for the result, first of all, we will take at every level the peak node, the peak node like this peak node. So on this level, we will have node one only, which is we can see from the right side. So we will add into our result list. So that is our, let's say result list. We will add this one in this here. And then we process this level that many number of nodes. So first level will have only one node. So we will process one time. Then while we processing the node one, we will look for the sec next level. So for next level here, the key, instead of looking first left child, we will look the first right child. So whatever the child, right child, we will look always first right. If it exists, we will add into the queue. So three will add it here. Once queue pulled out in this, then two will be added here. Two is the right left child of our root node. Now, after that, we will reach on the second level processing. Then first we will get the three from the queue. So we will add three, the peak element into the list, result list. And then we look for the right child. Yeah, for right child of three is exists four. Then we look for the left child of three, which is not exist. So it's keep moving. Then we will pull the two, just keep pull it. And we will look for the right child of two, which is five. We will add into the queue. That's it. Now we will again pull the four and this four is now we reach on the third level. So this is our first level, second level and third level. So on third level, this is our peak node. We will add into the answer. So that is the result, final result. And we will keep processing. And after pulling these both uh, nodes from the queue, queue will become empty and this while loop will be terminate. So this is the final answer. We will store into the list of integer and return it back. So I'm leaving this problem code to you on you you can pause the video and try it code yourself that is very easy and straightforward so let's go for this tree uh, like what will be the right side view so from right we can see first this root node 3 then we can see the root no this node 1 and then we can see the on this level node with value 8 but we can also need to see the node with value 4 on the fourth level so the final answer of this tree will be 3 1 8 and four so that's it so you can pause the video and implement the vfs solution if you have any difficulty in implementation you can ask in the comment section and i will also put the code in the github repository so let's now think how we can solve with the dfs traversal so in dfs traversal we will have three options like either use in order or pre-order or post order so here for solving this, as we go in every alternate level, what we need to track on which level we have. So we will in each pass the variable D, which is represent as a depth D initialize from zero. So this is the depth of this level. So whenever we go left or right child of this node, we will increment the depth D plus one, which is will become one. Similarly for here, this become two. 
so now we need to pick only the right side node so what we will do we will first go same as the bfs traversal we first visit for the right child and then left child because we need a right view so we will go for right child first and then left child and at every level what we need to check first we will check if root is null in that case we will return if root is null we will just return from here other case like we will keep a list which will be our answer we will pass the, the from the caller method as a reference and we will check if list dot size is same as the depth we pass which means we haven't picked the rightmost node of this level d then we will add that root dot value into the list that's it so initially first list will be empty then we will add one then we will call this right of three then three will come and the size of list will be one and d is also one so we will add three then we keep processing for three then we go again for right the size of this uh, uh, node like here the size of list two and the d is two for the node four we will add four then we come back to back there is no left here then we come back to this left we will see the size is greater than the one so we will not add we just keep processing we will call for right and size of the list is over already here too so we will not add it in. so let's take another example here if i increment another node let's say uh, or instead of here just say this five has another left child let's say six so in that case what will happen after processing all of these node we will reach to the node number six which is on the d3 equals to three and so far our list has only three elements so size is equal then we will add six into the list as well so this will be the answer for the if we add another node here so this is how we will solve the depth dfs traversal so you can pause the video first and try to code it yourself so let's implement the dfs traversal so for the dfs traversal what we will do we first create a list reference which will be represent as a we will pass as a reference into the dfs method so let's say this is and call the dfs method by passing root and d like depth initial depth from start from zero and the list reference of this list node after that we just return list now let's write the definition so private void method dfs that will get the tree node root and the int depth d and the list of integer which will be the reference so here first we will check if root is null if root is null then we just return this is a base case for our tfs method second condition if list dot size is equals to d then we add the current node value which is root dot value into the list list dot add root dot value into the list then after that we will call dfs for root dot write first so that is a same as the bfs we did and increment the depth by one and pass the reference as it is so let's call for left subtree as well so root dot left that's it so this is a dfs traversal implementation let's compile the code and see so it is working fine now we can submit the code first so it got access let's understand what will be the time complexity of this code so as you can see for every node we are processing once so if there are n nodes so the time complexity o of n and the space complexity what will be the space complexity so as you can see uh, the if we don't consider this this will be separate out and the recursion call stack will be go in worst case o of h where h is a height of our binary tree so in case of a skew tree this can also go o of n so that's it if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching